And here she is, the Red Goddess, the SF-16H. In three words... Design, uh, power and sensuality. The new paintwork is reminiscent of the legendary Ferrari 312 T2, the extremely reliable car in which Niki Lauda won the World Championship in 1975 and 77. From the outside you see that uh, the car looks uh, slightly different. Uh, it's a bit of a new design going on, which I like a lot, and I think uh, it looks very nice. Obviously, my helmet suits the white uh, topic on the car. The nose of the Red Goddess has also been changed. The front section of the SF16H now looks quite different from its competitors. The aesthetic result is a matter of taste, but the shorter nose fulfills its purpose. Well, we've been uh, designing a short nose for this new chassis, looking mainly after um, aerodynamic uh, improvement uh, of the flow uh, under the chassis. Over the past four years, the Scuderia, the only team to do so, put its faith in a pull rod front wheel suspension. Not anymore. With a push rod, they'll now be pushing, not pulling. While the front suspension has been chosen for mainly three reasons. One, again, for aerodynamic reason. Secondly, for, uh, for weight, as it offers a, best, a better uh, compromise in terms of uh, uh, weight to stiffness ratio. And third, uh, as it offered uh, um, um, better choices in terms of kinematics. Under the hood too, there have been some changes. An important factor in a hybrid drive system is thermal efficiency, the relationship between heat flow fed in and power put out. Ferrari have done a lot of work on this. The efficiency of our power units are quite incredible. And I think that if you look what exists on, on, uh, in the world, what we are achieving so far is really uh, the highest possible and really unbelievable. Whatever is the number of fuel you've got available, you are extracting almost the double of power from the, from the engine itself. Well, it is certainly a very bold car, uh, but then it needs to be. However, to improve a car that was already quite reasonable, last year's car, to make something this year, uh, which was also a big step forward, you need to take some bolder steps. And on this year's car, we have a very high proportion of new, bold approaches and that's necessary for us to make the sort of step forward that we need to make. I think everybody is uh, fired up and, have, uh, and uh, we want to win. So uh, the target is clear, the expectation is there. So uh, we'll see how, how close we are and uh, how much.